Welcome to the People Chronicles. I'm Jackie Hoffman, and we're joined by Jason Hook today. Thanks for coming along. Thank you. And it's always nice to ask the exact same question when we start off our podcast and uh, aim to our viewers and listeners what it is that you would like them to learn from your story today. Okay. Well, we're here because H2 Kitchen is new to this area, and uh, thank you for having me. Um, I guess what I want people to know and what, you know, what I'm doing here in Berks County is we're doing pop-up uh, dinner events, tastings. And um, we just started doing this in June uh, at the Crown Plaza. And, um, yeah, we're doing them everywhere. But the website has all the information. Now, what I love from you is the fact that I'll get pictures every now and again and it's normally close to dinner time or <laughs> when I'm really really hungry and these are creations that I can only imagine or dream of like I've never seen anything like them and are these your very own creations that you've come up with yeah I mean it's my menus and each event's a different concept but the H2 kitchen is not like it's not a restaurant it's not like a traditional dining space we we go to different locations, different restaurants, as as myself as a guest chef or just doing pop-up concepts. And we've done several here at this hotel that, you know, each one's a different tasting event. Each one's a different theme. Um, like last time we did one, we did um, a tasting on, on corn. So each course, we did 12 courses. Each course was, I, I sent you pics. You got them. Each oh, course had something involved with corn, whether it be like a panna cotta or a velouté or a flan or whatever. But um, yeah, so we just it's just different. You know, it's something fun for the area. And, you know, it's, it's a cool thing to do because, you know, we do it in different locations. So it's not the same spot every time. And where did you come up with this whole idea of H2O? We kitchens? started we started in the Lehigh Valley um, a year and a half ago. And we started in a, in a, in a home that was an old mill. Uh, we rented the space for six months, and we did these tastings every Friday and Saturday. And it started there. It was actually a gorgeous space. Like, it was absolutely beautiful. And we tried getting financing for it. That fell through. And then we opened another space, a 35-seater near the promenade shops. And um, I had to bail on that project because at that time I had some personal issues going on with family. So, um, but it started in Lehigh Valley. And then, like, we did these, we did these tastings every Friday and Saturday for the most part. And it was just, it was a hit. It was a success. And, you know, I moved back here because of, you know, my personal issues with what happened with my family and I started doing them here. So, you know, I'm hoping it takes off. I hope it works. So let's dig into the Jason Hook story. You're, you're from the Berks County area. Yeah, I went to Wilson, graduated in 96. My, my late wife went to Wilson too. And, um, I w grew up in uh, Sinking Spring. Actually, I grew up in Wyoming Missing. So I went to Wyoming Missing up until seventh grade and then moved to Wilson with uh in, like the summer 7th so and then so half my life was why missing half my life was wilson okay so then upon graduation mm -hmm. where do you go from there and and did you always know that this was what you wanted to do was no no i never liked cooking i hated cooking in <laughs> fact when i was a kid i just never thought like i never thought i would want to cook and but i was i was actually working here when it was the sheraton you remember when it was the sheraton and i was a room service waiter a banquet waiter i was 16 in 10th grade and I just, I just like I was in the kitchen. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to wait. I don't want to serve tables. I'd rather be in the kitchen cooking, you know. And because I just had like a come out. I, I had friend, I had friends back in the kitchen at that time, and um, but they wouldn't let me cook because I was 16. So you know, I had to go. I went to the end of Reading, and that's where uh, Chef Tim Twifford was at at the time. He's now here as his ex chef, and he hired me as a line cook. I just told him I don't want to wait. You know, I want to cook, and he was able to throw me in the line. So I started at 16. And then I fell in love with it. I never wanted to cook, you know. I just I fell in love with it once I started doing it. And I went to college for it, and then graduated. Went to New York. I lived in New York City for ten years. So I'm just like I, I've been back in the area for I don't know. I guess I was 27 when I got married. 28. Now it's 28. And then I lived here for a couple of years. Then I relocated to Providence and the Boston area, and then moved back to the Lehigh Valley. So I've only been back here for like almost 10 months where would you say your favorite places that you've been that you've um, completed your art of cooking and that's what it is when I take a look at every these pictures and I haven't had the opportunity to to come to a testing just well that's yet. like and, and you, you mentioned art and that's why I love cooking because it's a it's a way for me to uh, be creative mm -hmm. and express myself in a different medium because I'm, I'm an artist so I do um, I have I have many mediums I do uh, painting oil and acrylic photography See, which, I didn't know that yeah I do and I was actually in the goggle works in June at the Schmidt gallery I had all three mediums I had my paintings my photography and my drawings up 
Wow, yeah. that's a triple threat. Yeah, right. so I mean, it, and cooking is a way for me to express my my art in that way, and you know, that's what I love most about it. Like, I don't love cooking per se. I love the fact that I can express myself mm -hmm. and and you know and be creative with menus and you know um, share my art in that medium. So. Anyways, that's that's what I love to do. That's what I love about cooking because, you know, other than that, like, I don't I don't love the fact of, like, I don't like being an executive chef. I've been an executive chef for the last seven, eight years of my life, and I don't like that part of it because 90% of that job is, is, is just, like, the crap I don't want to deal with, you know. So I like the creative side. And being an executive chef, you work 90 hours a week, you know, holidays, weekends. You sacrifice everything. You know, so H2O Kitchen is a way for me to be creative, share my art, cook, and then pack up and not do the day-to-day -day grind. Where would be that one place that you would like to be set and say, this is where I'm going to make it my home and have your creations be there and have it be exclusively Jason Hook? Where? Where, where would you like to be? If you could choose anywhere, somewhere that maybe you've been before and you want to go back or just somewhere that you would say, this is now my home. I've always wanted to go back to New York. You know, I mean, I, I moved back when I got married, and I always want to go back to the city because I worked. I worked in some pretty good restaurants in New York, and I worked my way up to sous chef, and I worked as a sous for maybe five, six years out of my ten-year tenure there, and in four-star restaurants. And you know, I, I always like had this itch to go back and and you know be a chef in New York City and go for the James Beard Awards and all that stuff and get the accolades. And, I, you know, I still want to do that, but my son's seven, and I don't want mm -hmm. him to grow up in New York City, you know. So I don't know. I might wait a little a little bit longer, but um, that's where I, I think I would be where we ended up, I think, you know. I I never did the West Coast thing. I hate L.A. I tried that. It's pretty fast-paced. Yeah, but um, I don't know. New York is where it's at. New York mm -hmm. City is where it's at. And, you know, I have, you know, good history there, and I know, like, you know, that it's so competitive and it's just the, the, the vibe there is so much better than any other city. Philadelphia is getting better, but it's not the same. Mm. All right. We're going to take a short break. We are with Jason Hook during the People Chronicles. And when we come back, we're going to find out a little bit more about uh, mentoring and who his mentor was, who we talked about a little while ago, and also how you feel about uh, being a mentor yourself in this area.